Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my Nokia 2.3 tips and tricks. So in this video, I'm going to be going over my top hidden features with the Nokia 2.3. So let's get started. So this is the Nokia 2.3, one of Nokia's latest budget phones. And the device does run Android 1, so it's a pretty standard version of Android. Now despite that, I still was able to come up with a list of really awesome features that you might not be aware of. So I really hope you enjoy these, and hopefully some of them are new to you and helpful. I have a feeling that some certainly will be. So the first feature I want to show you is how to show the battery percentage on your device. So by default, you cannot see the battery percentage. And that's certainly an important thing. I know that for me personally, I absolutely need to see the battery percentage so I know what percentage of battery life is left. So to do this, pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to battery, and then you'll see right here, battery percentage. So turn that on and you'll now see the battery percentage in the corner. So that's really awesome. And also another thing too is that this whole battery monitoring area is really helpful to know how much battery life you have left and then you can also adjust the battery saver if you want to as well. So you can turn it on right now, or you can turn it on at 15%, which is the default right here. So very cool. Now for number two, I'm gonna show you this really cool feature called wind down. So once you're towards the end of the day, pull down the shade, go to search, type in wind down, and you'll see that it's under digital well-being. So tap on that, and you have a bunch of different features here, like setting a bedtime schedule. You can relax your eyes. You can get a bedtime reminder. So if you want a reminder for when it's time for bed, the phone can do that for you. You can avoid interruptions by turning on do not disturb. And then hopefully you can get a good night's sleep. And then in the morning, your phone will change back to its usual settings. So really awesome there. And you can see that you can control all of this through wind down. So if you want to turn off wind down, maybe it's the weekend and you just don't want to deal with it. However, you can actually set all that in this little calendar here, but you can turn wind down on or off manually, and then you can customize how exactly you want this to work on your phone. So a really cool feature if you want to have the most optimized experience with your device to prepare you for a good night's sleep. So with the Nokia 2.3, we have a Google Assistant button located on the side of the phone. It is pretty convenient for people who actually want to use Google Assistant, but if you don't, there actually is a way to turn that off. And I'll show you right now. So go to your settings and then search for Google Assistant, and then you'll see that under System and Gestures, there's the Google Assistant button toggle. And then from here, you can turn that off. And now when you tap on that button, it doesn't do anything. So unfortunately, you can't remap that button, but you can at least disable it if it really is annoying to you. Now, the next feature I'm going to show you is called split screen. So maybe you want to show your messages, and then you also want to watch a YouTube video at the same time. So I'll pull up YouTube. So I have the YouTube app here, but I want to play a YouTube video, but also pull up the texting app in a split window. So swipe up from the bottom partially, then hold down on the logo for the app, and then you'll see split screen right there. Tap on that. And then you can choose from any of your other recent applications. So I'm going to use messages. I'm going to tap on that. And then now it does a 50-50 split between the first app and then the second app. And if you want to adjust that, you have the ability to do so. But then you can play the video. Or you can do any app. It doesn't have to be the video, of course. But you can play a video in this situation. And then you can text at the same time. And then when you want to get out of that, you can swipe all the way up for whichever app or swipe all the way down to basically expand one of the apps 100% and then go to your home screen and then you're back to normal. Now this next feature is something that I didn't even know this phone has until I really looked into it. And that's multi-user support. So essentially you can turn this phone into multiple phones with multi-user. So type in multi-user and then you'll see multiple users right there under system and multiple users. And you can see by default, it has a guest option and then the owner. But you can also add more users if you want to. And you can also add users from the lock screen. So if you're sharing this phone with someone else, 
then you have the ability to create multiple profiles. Or maybe you want to share this phone with your child. And if that's the case, then you can create a profile just for your child so that they have their stuff and you have your stuff. The next thing I want to show you is how to customize your home settings. So hold down on the home screen and then you'll see home settings right here. And then from here, you have the ability to make quite a few customizations, including being able to rotate the home screen, which is pretty interesting. So once you activate that, all you have to do is rotate your home screen. You'll see a little button on the side here, tap on that, and it will fully rotate your home screen so that you can view everything in landscape. So this can be helpful if maybe you were using this phone for an extended period of time, mounted on the windshield of your car, and you want to have it in landscape like this, then you can easily also navigate around the phone and landscape as well. So a cool feature that you might have not been aware of prior to watching this video. The next feature I want to show you is really cool. It's called screen pinning. Maybe you want to hand your phone off to a friend or a family member and show them a picture or show them anything, but you don't want them to suddenly grab your phone and go through your device completely. So what you can do is you can pin a certain app here on the display and you have to put in a password to get out of it. I suppose another situation where this would make sense is if you wanted to use this phone as a point of sale, maybe through Square or something like that, and you don't want your customers just to be able to go through the entire phone. So what you do is pull down the shade, go to settings, type in screen pinning, and then you'll see it right there, screen pinning. So tap on that, and then you can turn screen pinning on. So when this setting is turned on, you can use screen pinning to keep the current screen in view until you unpin. To use screen pinning, make sure the screen pinning is turned on, open overview, and then tap on the app icon at the top of the screen, and then tap on pin. So we'll turn that on, and then we'll go to the texting app, and then to pin this, you just swipe up from the bottom partially, hold down on the logo of the app, and then tap on pin. So the screen is now pinned, this keeps it in view until you unpin, touch and hold back and home to unpin. So you actually have to touch and hold on back and home. There we go. And then it takes you to lock screen. And then I have to put in my pin code to unlock and get out of this pinned mode. So that's really awesome, really cool. And one of those features that I didn't even know this phone had until I really researched into it. For this next feature, I'm gonna show you how to quickly jump to the camera. So just go in the settings, type in camera, and then you'll see jump to camera right there. And then you can quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice and it works from any screen. So I'll turn that on and we'll give it a try. And you can see it took a little while there, but it did eventually pull up the camera. Not sure why it actually took quite as long as it did. I'm going to try it from a different app. Okay, well that was a little bit quicker that time, so not too bad. So that's how you pull up the camera application very quickly. And then finally, I want to show you how many settings you get with the phone app. I know that a lot of people might be curious about this if you are thinking of getting this phone. So just go over to the dialer and then tap on these three dots in the corner, go to settings, and you can see you get all kinds of different settings, including display options, sound and vibration, quick responses, calls, block numbers, voicemail, accessibility, assisted dialing, caller ID and spam, and nearby places. So the caller ID and spam is really cool because you can actually filter out suspected spam calls, so they don't disturb you. And I know that nowadays, with how many spam calls it seems like everyone gets, this is definitely a really important feature and something that you definitely want to enable. So I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video about the Nokia 2.3. If you know of any other tips and tricks that I did not cover in this video, certainly make sure to mention those in the comment section below. And maybe I'll even make a follow-up video to this one for the ones that I missed. However, I feel like I did cover quite a few different ones in this video, so certainly give it a thumbs up. Now, if you are looking for more details about the Nokia 2.3, I do have quite a few other videos on the channel that you certainly will want to check out. But overall, it's a pretty decent device, a little on the expensive side for what you're getting, but you are getting a really nice 6.2 inch display at 720p. This is an LCD display, but it looks really nice and clear. Probably one of the best displays I've seen on a phone under $150. Now you're also getting a PPI of 272 with this, and a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. And another thing too is that you're getting an 80.7% screen to body ratio. So a pretty decent screen to body ratio. You do have a pretty decently thick bottom bezel here, but up top you do have a water drop notch giving you pretty small bezels over on these sides. 
So a pretty appealing device. It is lacking some features such as a fingerprint sensor that I certainly would have liked to see on this phone, but you do get face unlock with it. The device features two gigabytes of RAM and the MediaTek Helio A22. As far as battery capacity goes, we're getting a very beefy battery at 4,000 milliamp hours, which is really impressive. And the device features really nice cameras as well. So up top here, we do have a five megapixel front facing camera that actually takes pretty decent photos and also supports portrait mode. Then on the rear of the phone, we have a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera and a two megapixel secondary depth sensing camera. So you also get portrait mode with this camera as well. And what's cool is, is that unlike many other phones in this price range, this phone offers a true portrait mode. So it's a real portrait mode that really does blur out the background. So you get nice, crisp, good looking portrait mode photos with the phone, which is definitely great to see. Now, if you're in the US, you can pair this phone up with your favorite GSM carrier, including AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile and Cricket and smaller GSM carriers such as Mint Mobile. Now this variant of the phone that I got is the single SIM version of the device. I'm not sure if there are other versions with dual SIM, but just keep that in mind. And this phone has 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So certainly an interesting phone here from Nokia. Actually one of the first Nokia devices I've ever owned. So that's certainly a great milestone for myself. And I'm looking forward to covering more of their phones in the future. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video and that little segment at the end where I kind of went into the different specs about the device. You know, I'm just trying to provide as much value here as possible in one video. But give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos about the Nokia 2.3, and I will see you in the next one.